What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back again with another video. So we got an interesting one. Shout out to my homie Dub. He actually um, let me know this was a real thing. So we was chopping it up. And I was talking about a recent video that him and Nisha have recorded about people being into some weird stuff. Y'all definitely go subscribe to Dub and Nisha's channel if you haven't already. Um, but <clears throat> we was talking about that. And then he was letting me know that there's a person that married the, married the Eiffel Tower. Now, I didn't believe him, but I had to Google it. And apparently, this is a real thing. This woman married the Eiffel Tower, I want to say maybe like 2007, 2008. And they made a documentary on it back then. I didn't know anything about this. I was in high school. Really wasn't worried about who's marrying inanimate objects but apparently this is a thing so we have to check this out because they recently did an article on her uh last year in december so uh december 2020 so we gotta check this out I, I i don't know what what's going on here i don't know how this is a thing but uh we're gonna go through this and um yeah see what what the hell is going on with with this 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 lovely woman here. So, <clears throat> woman who married the Eiffel Tower wants to set the record straight about her sexuality. Oh boy. Ridiculed and rejected. The woman who married the Eiffel Tower explains what it means to live with objectum sexuality after many people fail to understand what it means. What? Objectum sexuality? that's a first i i don't i don't even know how to attack that like i approach that that word objectum sexuality that's a that's a real thing <clears throat> all righty oh this, this should it's gonna be a good one she is an objectum sexual an os like an operating system like ios 15 i'm stupid she's an objectum sexual which is the inclination to develop sig significant relationships with the anime object. <laughs> oh shit oh my god so basically she likes to get physical with inanimate objects she doesn't date men she doesn't date women she dates objects all right in 2007, she changed her surname to Eiffel. Oh, my God. After a commitment ceremony to her partner of 10 years, the iconic Eiffel. All right. She said everyone has a type they are drawn to. That includes OS people. She added, I find my type is an object that is misunderstood by the world. The Eiffel Tower is surrounded by millions of tourists who are in love with each other, not her. Oh, so the Eiffel Tower is a is a her. So she's a lesbian OS. That's crazy. Wow. I wonder if I'm going to get canceled for this. Why are you making fun of OS people? <laughs> I'm not, bro. I just, just find it funny that people out here sharing their love on the Eiffel Tower and she's sharing her love with the eiffel tower that's that's insane that's wild <laughs> after i mean a year after her wedding the documentary married to the eiffel tower exploded online and the os community believed the audiences were fascinated by the wrong reasons i bet the documentary raised misconceptions that os people were inclined towards objects for the sake of control due to factors such as abuse and mental Ill illness she explains numbers suggest that most have no more issues than a normal cross section of society. I'm gonna be honest with you, I, I, I don't know. I, I just don't wake up in the morning thinking, you know what? My Xbox Series X is turning me the fuck on. I think I wanna enter a committed relationship with my Xbox Series X. Mm, come here, girl. <laughs> Let me put this in your hard drive. <laughs> oh my God, yo. Oh yeah, she's caressing the tower. Oh my goodness. 
Oh my goodness. The film left out the spiritual and emotional side of the unconventional relationships and made them seem fed. Uh, I can't even pronounce the word. Fetistic. Fetish. 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 Ah. Fetistic. 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 I think I said it right. If I didn't, you can flame me in the comments. I don't care. Or crazyreportsnews.com and you. It caused her to be rejected by friends and family, but also empowered her onto great achievements, Erica says. After 10 years, her relationship with the Eiffel Tower came to a close, but has entered something new which she is keeping under wraps. Look at the picture. Kissing on her, kissing on the Eiffel Tower, and then you, after 10 years, you leave her? Man, bro, she for the streets. 10 years, the Eiffel Tower been holding you down in that same place, and then you just dip for a new object? You just don't want us to know what the object is. It's probably something not as cool as the Eiffel Tower. You disgust me, Erica. You sicken me. Eiffel Tower been holding it down for you for 10 years and you just gonna leave her like that? You for the streets, Erica. You for the object streets. I'm definitely, someone's gonna be triggered by this. Look at her. Kissing on her. That's fake love. You son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, she said I have accepted defeat hmm? however Eiffel will always have a place in my heart cap that's cap that's fucking cap you don't care about the Eiffel Tower that is something the media cannot carve out of my chest though at times it feels as if they have tried discussing whether OS can be similar to having a, a loving nostalgia as a childhood toy as an example, Erica added, I have always said that everyone is, uh, everyone is closest, uh, everyone's closet OS, but they simply don't know it yet. I'm not a closet OS. I like the things that I have, but I, I don't sit up there and make love to them or in love with them. I may say, oh yeah, I love my car, but I'm not out there trying to get married to my car. My car doesn't physically turn me on. My car and my and me, we're not in a relationship. My car gets me to point A, point B, and it looks nice while doing it. That's just me. I don't know if y'all some closet OS people, but um, I don't, me, I can only speak for myself. No. There's things I care about that have sentimental value to me, like those shoes you see in the back. I care about those shoes. But guess what? I'm not married to them shoes either. These sentimental relationships uh, that people have with some objects are very similar to how we feel. However, most don't have the instincts to develop a deeper connection. No, I just don't care to grope and grive and, and caress my shoes like that. Like, I'm, I'm not kissing my shoes and making love to them. Things that I like, I'm, I'm just not doing that. I do that with women, other people. They can show those things back. These objects... They're, they're just objects. They don't have a soul. They're just objects. Look at this. Look at this. Just kissing all on it. But you still left. For the streets, bro. For the goddamn streets. Erica knew of her OS tendency since childhood. I didn't realize I was different until my teens when others started dating each other. And I had deep feelings for a low. <laughs> she had deep feelings for a fucking bridge. <laughs> it's Lenny the bridge. Hey, Lenny. I love the way you carry these cars and hold them up. I love the way I can cross you back and forth and you never fall. I love you, Lenny. Well, maybe, I don't know. Maybe it could have been a woman. Sarah the bridge. Sarah, I love the way you arch <laughs> over river, ravine. <laughs> I'm definitely probably going to get canceled. Shout out to you, Dub. This is great. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man. 
Uh, in response to anyone who claims her OS is due to a lack of relationships with other people, she added, I have always maintained good friendships with people and been very social, but I have never felt drawn towards any remote romantic relationships. Uh, romantic relationship despite early attempts to date due to the pressure to conform it never worked it felt very alien to me oh man and uh yeah that's it i don't think there's anything else here i think that's the end of the article i can't can't find anything else i'm scrolling through doesn't look like there's anything else on my girl erica holding it down for the set, but not really, because she left the Eiffel Tower. Mm -mm -mm. But yeah, yeah, man, this this was a thing. This was a a thing, an interesting thing. I'm um, be honest with you guys. Look, like what you like at this point. We're, we're at the point in society, you, people identify themselves as not him, not her, they, other. I. I I do what you do. Do what you do, man. If you want to make love to a goddamn Eiffel Tower, go ahead. But the one thing I'm not liking, and one thing I take away from this, is the fact that even the Eiffel Tower can't keep a woman these days, man. That's what that's what irritates me the most. Not the fact that she's making love and was married to the Eiffel Tower. It's the fact that she left the Eiffel Tower after 10 years. 10 long years you leave the Eiffel Tower for what? Why? What the Eiffel Tower do to you? That's cold, bro. That's that's that's, that's so sad, man. It's like, dang, man. You can be the Eiffel fucking Tower and a woman will still leave you. How long the Eiffel Tower's been standing up? She married to it for 10 years. I'm done. I've had my fun with you. But you'll always have a special place in my heart. Nah, you for the streets of Paris. God damn it. <laughs> Comment down below. Let me know. If there was one object, for whatever reason, if there was one object that you would potentially fall in love with, <laughs> what would it be? Since we're all technically closet OS people out here, there's one object that you would fall in love with. What would it be? Comment down below. Let me know, man. Appreciate all the love and support. Rose to fucking 60K. Oh, man. I hope I don't get canceled because I'm making fun of fucking people loving objects. I'm sure someone's going to be fucking, yo, you're an asshole. You're making fun of me loving objects? Fuck you, Ross. Appreciate y'all kicking in with me. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.